Here's a debate I'm, I was having just today. This just happened. It's from a video around February. My diet is better than yours, TV show. This guy commented, Pete Pharaoh, I've been high fat and intermittent fasting. I didn't want to do it or need to. Didn't want to? Oh. <laughs> But for the real science proven health benefits, like the fact that whenever you spike your insulin, growth hormone plummets. From here on out, that will be referred to as HDH. This person is all about the science of the diet. And it's just the best way to eat. And the fact that no animals sit down to eat three or four meals a day without working for it first. I've heard this argument before. This person's trying to say they're the smart one. Let's see, he's dropped weight. So did I. Eating fried eggs for breakfast. Why is that healthy? He's basically saying he can hack nature and improve upon it. Let's see if I cannot help a person like this. Okay, my comment. Here's another post that needs no comment. So many fallacies. Hyperboles. Protesting too much. Name Colin. Hmm. Great comment, Pete. Oh, by the way, for viewers at home, if you don't know this guy, it's probably the guy you blocked a couple years ago. He has been trolling my, all my videos just about for the last two years. This one's to me. He's saying, answer the points Pete makes. You <laughs> Pete responded to Joe, he won't Joe, he doesn't have the knowledge to come back to a statement that has any kind of logic or science backing. Hmm, that's me though. That's what I do. And it doesn't support what he wants, he'll just keep trolling to get views like the rest of them. It's a sad state. You're right. Gary is profoundly ignorant and dishonest ideologue. Okay, four hours after Pete said that I would not respond to what he said, I responded to what he said. I wrote, It is short-sighted to say you eat low-carb because insulin spikes lower growth hormones. Firstly, only refined carbohydrates spike insulin. See, this is what low carbs do. Carbs, high insulin. All sorts of bad things happen because of that. But this is all scientific. And it is. He's getting this right from science. These people can put up a good argument. What are we supposed to do here? Well, stay tuned. Who says growth is a health benefit? This guy wants to grow, you know, typical male. Wants to get muscles, but that's not health. Where are all the old people who are really muscular? Where are all the old people who've been doing low carb since they were what, in their 20s or something? This guy's hiding behind something. And then I give a link to a site of all places, a bodybuilding site that says carbs are essential for testosterone production. You would think that would be the site to show him. Response, all carbohydrates raise insulin. Here we're talking about two different things, except these people want it to be the same thing. This is what people do with science. They twist it. Scientists aren't doing this. Scientists aren't saying, low carb for the world. Ignoring the logic behind what I just said there. He just goes on about insulin, you know. Insulin is the hormone created by the pain. <laughs> He's trying to educate me about the pancreas? When I first learned about this, he was probably still in the sandbox. Let's see if I can find something interesting to say for this video here. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, he mentions ketosis. It promotes neurogenesis, the birth of new brain cells. See, he knows words. So I'd say it has quite a lot of health benefits. Wouldn't you?
because if you lower, if, if you drop your insulin way down, then, then you get these benefits. What's wrong with that? Hmm, what if that's true? Recently, I did that video on ketosis, Dr. Oz. And most of my commenters were just, they just blew it off. This is crazy stuff. We don't even need to say anyone. Everyone's just saying it's crazy. And that's the, the attitude I had in my video. But if he's getting the strength from science, maybe we should take ketosis seriously. Not as something to do, but to realize that there's a lot of people out there that are reading the science and buying into the idea that ketosis is a good thing. It's not just for crazy people. There's a lot of people buying this. He goes on. And why do they all have to act like assholes? Not, you notice this? Why is that? And they say all vegans act like assholes. Not all of us. Check out Foley Rock Christine's latest video, where she's gloating about how she's so nice. Yeah, she can afford to be. <laughs> so this asshole is there. As for reading articles on bodybuilding websites, I'll stick to reading my science-based nutritional therapy course material. Is that college? That follow on from the Human Genome Project and medical journals. What's the key word in medical journals? Clinical trials. Other such real science. Rather than the bro science you read well, I don't read that stuff. I purposely got it from a bodybuilding site because those are bodybuilders. Those are people looking to increase muscle, increase their HGH, which is what he was talking about, why he, he's on low carb. It's like his thought process is just not fully connecting. But what he just said there, and that's scary stuff, because his bullshit this dangerous diet comes from real science. My diet is, a lot of people think this is made up to eat this way. How could I go about arguing with all the science and the clinical trials and all that stuff? Well, I have zero formal education. There's some guy on YouTube. So I can't possibly do that, can I? Let's see what I do. This was six hours ago I posted this comment. But, you don't need to cut carbs for HGH to work. He talked about all the healing that's possible when you when you drop your carbs so that the insulin's low and the HGH is high. Well, wait a second. I have never broken a bone in my life. In fact, my teeth have filled in cavities. My nails grow too fast. I have to keep cutting them. I recover from workouts overnight, and when we us high carbers were all saying that it no one believes that especially bodybuilders when we try to tell them that because their experiences it takes them days well I wonder why it's because they're eating all that fat and protein like the bodybuilding magazines tell them to do and scientists used to say that eyes cannot heal and I proved that wrong a few years ago I had one blurry eye for over 10 years. Soon after going raw vegan, that went away. Eating refined pasta my whole life. I'm not aging. I don't, I don't age. I don't age. I'm 48. And then my last sentence to him was words of wisdom. And I'm trying to be nice here too. Hopefully this will get through to him. You need to think when you're reading the anti-carb science that he does. You can't just absorb it blindly. My troll Joe responded, I thought he would. You are utterly ridiculous, saying you're not aging. Laughing my ass off, you look considerably older than your chronological age. <laughs> but anyway, on to Pete's response. How are actual medical journals and the Human Genome Project anti-carb science? I actually laughed out loud a bit. And then he goes right back into insulin and HDH. Yada yada yada. 
It sounds like you could do with a little fat in your diet. I do eat a little fat in my diet. To help with some neurogenesis. How old are you? And what physical exercise do you actually do? This is what real scientists sound like. He apparently doesn't know that I'm a science buff, science nerd from the 80s. I mentioned that in my last video. <laughs> watch it, and then watch your video, if you dare. I watch myself hours a day while editing. Then hang your head in shame, for if nothing else, just at how you sound. When you read that, it sounds like he really nailed me. And a lot of people would read that and then, and then think, that guy really nailed him, and then they'd move on. But if you wanted to look further to see, well, did he really nail me? Then you might be able to make a case. Here it is. Should I hang my head in shame for just how I sound? Well, I sound like a real person, not a scientist. And remember, only some scientists would be so foolish or corrupt to have tunnel vision. Take a little bit of information and just see that and blow it out of proportion. I sound like someone who's not trying to sound smart. Go away! I have nothing to prove. I am super smart. I'm so smart that I think that I can go past the science and, and use logic to show how science is sometimes used for devious purposes. Or sometimes the scientists just lose themselves. They get so deep into the science that they can't see the world anymore. Clinical trials and all this stuff, that's not real life. A lot of those trials are not set up properly, and I've shown this. You know, when people like me, Harley, and Vegan Gaines have been able to debunk the way studies are done, that's pretty bad, and we have done that. Anyway, my reply was a little shorter than that. I said, why are you asking my age and physical activity? He doesn't want to guess my age, because everyone who's ever guessed my age has guessed at least 10 years younger. I'm not really against science. I'm simply against the way some people use it. Some, some people. I go, I go into detail here to a video. Also in my book, I, I go into this for a few pages, talking about the science. There's, there's the science, then there's the scientists, then there's the media, and then there's reality. And over the course of my book, I basically debunk society and the way they think, the way society thinks. You know, society is not natural. The world is natural. That's all there is is nature. When you create a society, you're removing yourself from nature. So it's no surprise that society would just have everything backwards. Okay, Pete has replied to me just, just a few minutes ago. He said, I asked your age because the current topic seems to be about the benefits or lack of them, with using a lifestyle of food choices that boost HGH or not, and how your lifestyles, based on whole science, affect your health of which physical appearance, mindset, how about rudeness, blood markers, physical abilities, how about running a hundred mile marathon? You know, vegans have proven themselves. He just doesn't want to look at it. Well, and then he talks about how much he can lift and all this stuff. <coughs> that really has nothing to do with anything. As for him running some race, not on low carb, you didn't. I remember when that was proven by our community, hardly like three years ago or something. I have a great memory, you may have noticed. So he's got a picture of himself at the finish line. <laughs> I could do that too. But see, I have no reason to, to fake things. When we've got documented proof of Michael Arnstein actually running the race and being documented on the website. Oh, he's really going all out here. What about you? And my drive and ability. I think my 300 videos show my ability. And my drive, how about my drive 
to Los Angeles on like one and a half hours sleep and then standing all day and then driving back home getting home around midnight. So he's comparing the two of us and he has listed all these benefits and uh, it reminds me of something here. Let's scroll back up to his original post two months ago. The stuff I didn't read all of. I've been high fat and intermittent fasting on work days for six weeks straight. Oh yeah? Tell me about your story again in six months. And tell me again in 22 years. I've been saying this the whole three years I've been making videos. All of these low carbers have only been doing the diet for a short time. And the reason is because you can't do this diet long term. There are people who get short term benefits of crack, but check with them again in a couple of years. Pete, post your comment below. And for anyone who wants to follow the argument, you, know, you can go to the video right here. But there's a little more to this story. Check out the video. Of course, of course it's good. Loss and check out the comment section. But he also may have heard about what happened earlier in the show. Hi, everybody. Let's just dig in and we'll talk about intermittent fasting. How many calories are you eating? Oh! <laughs> like, share, and subscribe to my channel and videos.